Test one, two, one, two. It works. Welcome. Let's talk about creating a new project in Traction Waveform and setting up the first few items in the project so that it's easy to share a recording with others so that you can have multiple people contributing to the project. One assumption I'm making through this is that you already know the song uh, if you're using Traction to record some ideas and other bits and pieces that you're going to make a song out of some of this probably doesn't apply up front so let's get into creating a project in traction waveform the first thing we'll do is click on new project and then we'll give that project a name in this case i'm going to Call it a template. I'm going to work through this process and then put these templates, I'll put links in the description below for templates for 4, 4, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 8 and uh, any other time signature that someone would like to request. The first step, once we've named the project, uh, is probably to come back to this project and rename this edit. So the edits keep track of different stages of the song. The edit in this case is just going to be our, uh, let's call it a guide track, so that we've got a guide for people to contribute pieces of the recording to. Now that that's set, let's jump into setting the time signature and the tempo. Now the first thing, we could click on the time signature and in this compressed version of the toolbar down the bottom, we need to click on the tool here and we can change the tempo by typing a tempo in directly and we could grab the time signature and we could set the time signature as required in here using that tool button to that uh, tool button again however as we're working through the project properties it's often much easier to click on this up arrow in the corner to expand this toolbar now you can click on the tempo directly and you can change it. You can click on the time signature and you can click on the key for the song and set the key for the song. So for the rest of this process, I'm going to work with this expanded toolbar down the bottom. The next thing I like to do is create my own click track. The reason for this is that while waveform has a click function built into it as you're recording if you're sharing a file that is a an exported wave file that can't include a click track and having your own click track allows you to set emphasis on notes as you like and export that as part of the recording I'm going to drag in a plugin for this click track, which is the uh, the drum sampler that was mentioned in my first video on traction waveform about setting up traction. I'm going to load this free drum kit, and you can see that loading down the bottom. And now we have that drum kit loaded. Now that that drum kit's loaded, I'm going to drag down a new MIDI clip. It's stuck it in as a 10 bar MIDI clip. I'm going to change that to a 2 bar MIDI clip. You can 
double click on this track to open waveforms midi editor and then you can insert notes by clicking around the place i'm not sure if you can hear that coming through the mic but i'm going to delete all these things i've done and find the sound i want to use which is a rim shot so i'll scroll down And I can actually drag this note around and there's my rim shot that I'd like to use. Now that I've found the sound I want to use for my click track, I'm going to create the, the click on the first beat of each, oh, sorry, on each beat, I should say. And you can see down the bottom here that there's a velocity set. Don't worry too much if you get a note in the wrong place you can drag that note back where you like it and then i want to add some emphasis to this click so i'm going to change beat one to 127 velocity which will make that beat louder and then the rest of them i'll leave as they are set on 81. change the first beat of bar two Oops. Now, if you wanted to, you could change um, the sounds for each beat or the emphasis for the second beat of the bar. One thing I like to do if I'm doing more complex time signatures like 12-8 is to set the emphasis differently throughout those beats in the bars. So I'd set beat 1 to 127. So then I'd set beat 4 and beat 7 and beat 10 to a velocity of maybe 112 and everything else to 80 or maybe 96 and 80 for everything else to give you that flow of the triplets within 12.8. If I play this clip now It's just the, the beats in that click track. And then the easy thing is just to copy Control C for copy and Control V for paste and paste that as many times as you need through the song. You'll notice that I'm pasting that it's counting up bars here. So typical song might be 120 bars long, something like that. So we'll stop at bar 123 we can always copy and paste more around the place later on now that we've got the click track in place let's get some markers in so that people know what the layout of the song is going to be so i'm going to grab a marker i'm going to stick a marker in here i'm going to add a bars and beats rather than an absolute time code marker the bars and beats marker will change if we change the tempo. The absolute time code marker would be used when you're trying to match a track to a video. I'm going to make my first marker a two bar marker and I'm going to just call that my lead in. I'm going to drag another marker and this one I'll drag out as a four bar marker that's going to be the intro obviously as for the song you're creating it needs to match the song layout but as this is just a, a template for a bit of a demo I'm then going to do an eight bar marker you can see up the top how many bars you're making i'm going to call that verse one i'll drag another marker down in here and 
at that in this time, rather than dragging around, I'll call this chorus one and I'll update the end bar directly. So I'll change that to 24 and if I then zoom out on this song you'll see that that's ending on bar 24 and then you can drag another one in I'll call this a fill which is going to come at the end of the chorus and then we might have verse 2 and so on now uh, you this just then allows people as they're recording the song to see which parts of the songs they're up to it also means that as you're editing a track you can see which part of the song you're in and if you wanted to if you had a, a MIDI part or if you had an audio part that you wanted to reuse on each chorus you could record it once and you could copy and paste from one chorus to another easily because you have marked out where all those choruses are rather than having to listen through each piece of the song and figure out where to paste it in so the markers really help as you're building up a song the final step in this is to rename each of the tracks so you might create a drum track if you're recording the drums separately you might have a a, uh, a set of sorry you might have snare kick hats toms overheads room mics on separate channels if you're recording something like a an electronic drum kit you might just have drums left and drums right coming in you then have the bass might have an acoustic guitar oops I just hit escape when I clicked on the wrong thing then correct the spelling Grab the next track, and this can be our lead guitar. We'll scroll down over the names, which instead of zooming, scrolls up and down the track. And again, we can also change the properties down the bottom here. So, we need our keys track. And once we've hit the limit of tracks, that track waveform has added into the project automatically uh, you can then create click a right mouse button in a gap down the bottom here and click create new track and you can keep creating as many tracks as you like until you've built out the template for the song that you want. So track nine, we could have lead vocals. Track ten. We might call that harmony one. And track eleven harmony two. 
and obviously you could add people's names in there or however you want to track what you're doing but now you've got the layout for a song that is ready to share with other people to contribute to that project now that we've got this far the next video i'm going to do will be on how to share these files around the place with people so i look forward to doing that one soon and in the meantime thanks for watching